Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. I am in a very happy, smiley, bubbly mood this morning because we're going on an exciting road trip and I've literally just had a text. Oh, hi Reggie Roo from M to say she was on, she is on her way to pick me up. And I think that's part of the reason I'm excited too because I haven't got to drive, which will be fun. We're going up to Dorset. Oh, 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 uh oh, Blue's here, Cat's here. Blue cat, blue cat, cat ranger reversing. Let me hold the kitten. You may well remember a few weeks ago, myself, a few weeks, actually two months, it's not a few weeks, it's two whole months ago, myself and the girlies met up in Epsom for the press day ahead of National Racehorse Week. Well, the week is here already. It runs from the 12th to the 19th of September. Now Robbie wants me to move my handbag. Oh my goodness, I would have been far better off just starting this vlog in the car rather than whilst I'm waiting for him to pick me up. <laughs> You've had your breakfast, so you do not need to be stood at the gate waiting, wondering if I'm gonna give you seconds. We are heading to Harry Fry's yard, which is in Dorset, near Dorchester. Emily is driving, I am being chauffeur driven. We're picking my mum up en route, so I thought as a way of making this vlog a little bit different, I've told her to bring her camera because she might like to take some nice pictures when she's there. But what I might do when we get in the car is hand her my camera and say, mum, you're in charge of the vlogging today. Let's put a little twist on this, make it a little bit more different, a little bit of entertainment, and yeah, hand the reins over to her. What? Do you want to come? Don't pretend you haven't had your breakfast already because you have. I was up bright and early in horsey clothes to tend to you and I'm trying my best not to get too close because I know that you'll slobber on me. Would you like to go to a race yard? You'd like to test out their gallops, wouldn't you? And I believe, I'm not sure if it is this one or the other one we were thinking of attending, has also got a horsey swimming pool. A swimming pool, would you like to go swimming one day? I will see if it can be arranged, not in the sea. Definitely not in the sea because he's scared of waves. Oh, Reggie Roo's come to say hi. I'm glad you're out here because it does sound like Em has just driven in. And we don't want you being near cars, do we? Say hi, everybody. Thanks for the well wishes. My paw is a lot better. Oh, 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 he wants to flee because he's heard the car. Um, I would do an OC update, but I have no idea where she is. So stay till the end. And I will do that when we return. But for now, it's time to get on the road. Oh, I might do an OOTD too. But as per usual, we're running a little bit late. So I will do it when we get there. Must not forget my handbag. <laughs> Look at you in your new car. I know. <laughs> Are we twinning? No, I'm changing when I get up there. Oh, good shout. Right, let's get on the road. Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right Fantastic, hey, now, honey, I've been driving yeah, around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right You right. saw the polo, didn't you? I love my polo <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the golf And then we'll pass I don't know why I panned that way because I should have just panned straight over M's shoulder. Mummy's here! Being chauffeur driven by Emily. Yeah, I've got a question for you, Mum. Are you nervous? <laughs> are, you, are you nervous of M's yeah. driving or of the question She's I'm about doing to ask a very her? Good job. <laughs> Only because I'm a very nervous person. You are a nervous person. I haven't felt any brakes go into my back yet, so we're doing good. <laughs> I've <laughs> got a question for you. Oh, and yeah. she doesn't, she's not stood on my seatbelt, sorry. No, she used to do that to me all the time. Like, Mum, your foot's on my seatbelt. Well done, that's good. I cut to the chase. Would you like to be in charge of the camera today? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that was easy. I'm in charge of the camera today. So you're so vlogging today. I'm learning how to turn it round. No, not on me, it's going to be on you. You're camera. vlogging the day. You're vlogging the day. I talk. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to hold it for you so you don't get Well, how do I take a picture? We, we don't need you to take pictures, we just need um. video. We're heading to a race yard. Have you ever been to a race yard before? Oh, she wants yeah, to but it's taking a picture of me, not the race yard. It's because I'm not there yet. <laughs> so when I get there, I go like that. Uh, you can do, yes. Yes, you can. And you can tell us all about your first experience what at the race as yard. a vlogger attending a uh, race yard. Okay. Do you know why we're going? No. In celebration of National Racehorse Week. We're going in celebration of National Racehorse Week, which is 
running, running this week from the 12th to the 19th of September. Okay, maybe I should have given I you some props. Say, yeah. I think she should have told me why I'm coming. Five minutes. Right, we'll have a little rehearsal and then we'll start again, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I was just surprised you've agreed straight away to do it. Because remember, I did say you did vlog before for me. Yeah. But I didn't know you were doing. You did an amazing vlog. Yeah. But you had. Why did I not air that vlog? Do you remember? Oh. Remember you mocked out on everything for me and you made a fab vlog because I'd been very busy and I'd been out and about and you said I've made a vlog and you made it all on your phone? Yes. But I couldn't publish it, could I? Why, what had I done? <laughs> I can't <laughs> smell. You had a big lump of... Oh, there's something in my nose. Hanging out in the nose for the whole... It was a cold it? winter's morning. It was a cold winter's morning. You should have told me earlier. When you Why am I me? like white? Hmm. Yeah, I know. So I couldn't air any of that, unfortunately. But yeah. so today is your debut at vlogging. How do you feel about it? Excited. Oh, my job is done. Right. I will save the battery and hand you over to Mum when we get there. I'll explain a bit more to her about the reasons why we're going. She's just come for a day out. She's just come for a day out and bought her camera along. We'll do swapsies. I'll I use your camera, you that. use mine. I used the camera yesterday and I got, I didn't tell you, but I got a bad neck and very dizzy, so I didn't really want to. Oh, okay. Well, this one's lovely yeah, and lightweight. That's not around my Link neck. in the description below, guys, if you're looking for a new vlogging camera. <laughs> Lots of people have asked what we use nowadays. Yeah. Basically, me, um, Meg, and Lucy all copied Lucy, and we're all on the Sony ZV1. Mum's never seen it before. She's seen it today for the first time. It's you clocked it straight away, didn't you? But just remember, although you're here, you have right. to look at the lens which is here. Right. All right? So you can check you're in the there, frame. Not there. No, here. This right. is the lens. Look, here. Woo. But why does somebody want to look at me? Because you're beautiful. You okay. She Comment below. Guess, mum, guess mum's age. She better do my makeup first. Cause it was your birthday the other day, wasn't it? Just over a month ago. It wasn't a big one. It was a 21st. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> we would have been if somebody else wasn't in charge of the sun. <laughs> oh dear. What do you think, Mum, eh? I'm thinking the scenery's rather Beautiful. amazing. Beautiful views. More amazing than the dark. see for miles and miles. It is gorgeous, miles. actually. Look how far. Yeah, I know. And I just feel like we are about to arrive at Bricky. Pretty much we were a minute ago. Tina had in the postcode for Brecky, not Harry Fry's racing yard. Oopsie. Well, my phone just must have remembered it. It knows this time of year we generally go to that location. <laughs> so we're now um, 2.4 miles away, so not too bad. It's anyway, rather you're about meant to be vlogging, not me. Just because you're holding the camera doesn't mean you're just the producer. The producer, the director. Oh, this looks pretty. Well, one thing you learn when you come on a road trip with Tina and Em is they've got a good sense of humour and they need it. <laughs> yeah, but you're still filming us, not yourself. <laughs> nice pretty houses around here. Where are we, we going? Uh, straight, straight, straight on. We're not turning off till 1.8 miles. Apparently I'm Probably filming myself now, so I'll turn this lake. around and... Oh, I, I was upside down for one minute. Oh, deja vu from Bovington. Just practicing my angles and we're coming down a steep lane where Emma is doing masterful driving. Thank you. <laughs> After a check-in before we left, is Emma a good driver? I, I did like, have Do you think I'd let her tow Banksy if she wasn't? <laughs> my precious cargo. Never mind having my mum in the car. The right Once we rerouted. <laughs> <laughs> no? Ah. And how lovely that they're stood out there waiting to welcome yeah, everybody. Yeah, and it was really well side facing the saves in here. So I'm just arriving. Clearly signposted when you get onto the right road. I'm vlogging away. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And Thank you. Harry Thank Fry you. Racing, yes. here we go. Oh, so quite a nice well made up drive. Beautifully fenced, all the hedges are clipped, just as will be the horses, no doubt. Yeah, it's beautiful, doesn't it? Wow, I think we chose a good one. Well done, Em. You chose to come here. There were loads to choose from, weren't yeah, there? Yeah, loads. I love how I've given Mum my, my, my camera to vlog. And now you're on And now I'm vlogging on yours, so. 
I love how she gives me her camera to vlog, but vlogs it still because she doesn't think I'll do a very good no, this job. this is for Emily's. This is mine because I'm driving. <laughs> oh, oh it's for Emily. They have otherwise. to do one each. Hench. Mine's being Thank slightly you. different by having Mummy do it. <laughs> so, off we go to join the queue and find out how the racehorses go from being bred to being trained. All the aspects that come into racehorse caring. Oh, I can see the colours. I can see them all hung up there in the uh, marquee. Quite excited, really. So we're here on behalf of who? The Racing Foundation. The Racing oh, yeah. Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> She's telling you what to say now, Em. Thanks. <laughs> <No. laughs> they didn't fair. tell me. She asked no, I said she, you're telling Em. You're prompting Em on what to say. This is because they asked me to vlog, but they didn't tell me who I was here on behalf of. The Racing Foundation. The Racing Foundation. Advertising National Racehorse Week. I'd already told them. Well Which done. is this week. It is. And there will be many places open you could go to view those racehorses yep. around the country. Behind the scenes action. See maybe the foals, the training of them, the riders, the things they wear. I'm interested in seeing it, the physiotherapy side because that's my background. Oh, yes, I'll be interested in seeing not? if there's any hydrotherapy, particularly the places where <laughs> they help them to recover after racing. Uh, it's always important to have good recovery to set yourself up for your next race. Mum's coming from the avenue that you teach Pilates, that's don't you? That's right. That's and right. movement is key to a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. What well, movement improvement. Movement improvement. Oh. Functional Same movement so that you can carry on living the life that you wish yeah. to live. And if anyone wants to do Pilates, one on one Zoom sessions, plug, plug. Plug, plug. <laughs> Pilates on, so plus what? Cornwall at gmail.com. <laughs> She's giving out our email address. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? All good, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You Would you like to oh. sign up to our newsletter? So you receive a copy of the entries, declarations, and then you get a newsletter once a month, just keeping yeah, right. up to date on what's happening in the night. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. No pressure. Oh, no, we'll fill one in. Okay. And then it's in the And that's it. They are colours are specific to each individual owner. So, um, oh, amazing. So, okay. um, so that's yeah, that's just a selection of our owners' colours. Yeah. Part of the fun yeah. of owning yeah. a racehorse, yeah. you yes. design your own colours. There you go, you can yeah. tell we're complete newbies, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have them around. Good yeah. look Lovely. around. Thank you. Our Thank team you. in the polo, green polo shirts, so they're there to. And we can nab them. They won't mind being yeah, on no, camera. Yeah, no, you ask them. Yeah, <laughs> ask them as many questions as you like. So yeah, you're very welcome. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there somewhere that you would need to find out which colours were taken? Yes, we do that. Weatherbees or the racing app in site they they monitor uh, the sort of yeah all the colors are registered to each owner so uh, they're in charge of um, yeah making sure you don't you can't have duplicate colors so uh, yeah Weatherbees is the place to go uh, where well, he's won us four grade ones so which is what it's all about winning yeah, those top races so yeah. he's here 13 years young but he doesn't know it so go and meet him yeah, yeah. let's get in and meet so, him because yeah. we've got lots right of there. people Thank waiting you. to get yeah. into cheers just do it up a little bit next time because he was very tall I don't know if his head oh, was on camera I, I, okay I will I can't see with my glasses on so I have to take my glasses off <laughs> hey it's part of the fun mum don't you no. worry yeah. good oh, questions too well. Yeah, said. very good. Very good. Because questions. you wouldn't want to design your racing cloth and then find out you couldn't have it because it was already taken. Look at Harry's own boxes here. <laughs> Red, green and silver. Oh red. yes, you have to tilt it up, otherwise you're going to cut off somebody's head. Look at this beautiful surroundings of the yard. I didn't realise it's brand new, purpose built. Lovely, good choice then. Good choice. So this will be my third, coming into my third season with Harry. And have you been somewhere previously? Not in racing, no. I've worked in show jumping yards and things like that. And then I had a child and Harry and Kira are sub accommodating the children. It's a lovely, lovely place to work. And the horses are completely chilled out here. The main. You can so tell that yeah, everything exactly. that's going on. They're just this is what they're like if you're here or not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. It's and so, do you do you do them or do you find a lot of them? A lot of them are bought. Harry sells by Harry Kira, and then 
and then salt and then <laughs> salt and out. some things. Yeah. Yeah. Nice tip from there. And do, do they come, are they British bought or are they bought A lot of them from Ireland. Ireland. A lot are from Ireland. Yes. Some are <laughs> sorted Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you'll see on the door. Oh, it there. shows you where they're yeah. from. Oh, brilliant. So okay. he's, a, he's a presenting horse. Yeah. Um, you'll see a couple, or at least one more that is by him. Um, oh. you know, you can see on the, some are from France. Yeah. How many have we got here in total? Yeah. Oh, in. that's a good question. A yeah. lot. In. Quite a few. Yeah. 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 Probably 70. And is there anywhere here that shows physiotherapy? There is. In yeah. barn one, you'll have Verity. Verity. And you've got the vet with the little, I'm not sure if you've got, but he's got an x ray. I think he's coming up. And you've got like a mini stimulator. Oh, fabulous. We will head there shortly thank then. You very much. Much. Thank you for your no, time. Thank Cheers. You. And we've been told that the vet and the physiotherapy are in the next barn. barn. Yeah, so we're going to head that way. Right. This will be very interesting. And there we go. Having a look. So that shows the colours that they run in. Nice. Yep. And then. Oh, look, this is a British one I'm going to find. Oh, hello. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm yeah. making mum vlog today. I didn't even realise that. Hey, oh, my mummy. Oh, I'm playing the orange cat. You're on the vlog now, by the way. So you always come across somebody in the horsing world. And Hi! Oh, it's yeah. Come outside for a breath of fresh air. Out of the first yard into the second. Plenty of staff here to tell us a lot about the horses, which there's a lot to learn. Hello Katie, how long have you worked here? This is my second season at Harry's. Wow, have you been anywhere prior? It's Kevin Cross and then I came to Harry's last season. What's your role here? So I'm a work rider slash stable staff, so I ride the horses in the morning and then groom them and take them racing, which is general look Oh wonderful. Is it scary riding them? It depends who you ride. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ridden this one? I have, I have ridden Fairy Gem, yes, and she's a nice girl, she's lovely, she's very well behaved. So do you wear safety jackets or air yeah. jackets? Or so what? we have to wear a body protector, a mandatory body protector, which is a level 4 for racing, and a hat, which has got to be a specific standard for racing. Yeah. So if any accidents happen, you're on well protected. I notice you're quite small girl. I know, I am. <laughs> is that I beneficial? We ride the smaller horses, which is fine because then you don't have to ride the bigger ones, but then the smaller, the more cheapier, so it swings around lots of it. And are the hours long? They are, but you get a good break in between time, so we start at half six and finish about half twelve one, right. and then we come back at four till about five, Brilliant. so yeah, not too long. So we'll go and see who else is along here. Fortune Melody. Whiskey Express. I like the names. Lady Adair, that's another Irish filly. Now Pogo I am sounds a little bit more dangerous, doesn't it? it? Makes you think about jumping up and down on the spot. Do you do that, Pogo? I just wanted to say hi. Hello. I recognise you from Tina's vlogs. Oh, do you? <laughs> well, <laughs> let me turn him up. Who are you? Um, I'm Hannah. Hello, Hannah. <laughs> are you from Cornwall? Or? I'm not. I'm actually from Western Supermare, so opposite way, but still, still ah. on the coast. <laughs> and are you uh, an inventor? Not quite. Not brave enough. Ah. But I've got two X-ray sources, so <laughs> that's my connection. <laughs> oh, well, tell me about your X-ray. <laughs> tell me about your X-ray sources. Um, so yeah. none of them are very good. <laughs> none of them are very good at all. Um, and they've both had their injuries. That's for sure. So it's taken a long time to rehab them, but. Slowly, slowly. I was going to say, do I dare ask if you recognise my mum? And you said it's really well. I've already interviewed her about her x-rays. Oh, that's good. She's doing a good job for me. Oh, OK. This is her audition. I might actually employ her in the future. Don't blame me. So you've got an x-ray? Two. Oh, wow. When's I getting in there? Oh, no. What have you found or seen so far then, Mum? Oh, I've been interviewing one of the... She'll tell you what she was because she had like three yeah, roles so here. One of them was riding the horses. Uh, she was you quite, quite petite, so quite yeah. slight, don't you, to ride the horses? And um, I'd probably be too heavy. I did ask her 
about that. What's, what, is there weight limits? <laughs> no, not particularly, yeah, okay, she said. Be, but yeah. you need um, to know how to ride and hold your own weight, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, they have to wear. Oh. So you'll have it all on here. Oh, I'm doing a good job then. Now I'm looking for a jockey. Hey, are you now? Yes. Hello. Who have we got in here? Any very famous ones yeah, in here? Yeah, so you've got Rock on Ruby and Opening Batsman there. And are they the ones that have done most of them? Yeah, so um, Rock on Ruby's one who started Harry and Kira out. Obviously, they've been the, he's been the superstar for them. Um, he's won some fabulous races for them, and obviously, he's the making of them. He's won grade one races. Um, and then, obviously, we've also got Opening Batsman as well. Uh, he's also another superstar for the yard. Um, so, they're just enjoying retirement here now, enjoying out in the field. And Harry and Kira both enjoy riding both of them out with the girls. So can I ask you, are any of the, um, do any of the mares go on to breed after they They race? do, yeah, we've had a few of them, a lot of the owners keep them, um, we've also sold a lot for breeding, um, we've had um, some very good mares, we've had so hard by Trevor Hemmings mare, she's gone to be a brood mare last season, uh, Whiskey, uh, Misty Whiskey, she's gone as well, um, so yeah, once, you know, they've done their time, they then often go, they're very well bred, um, a lot of them get black type once they've won certain races, a certain amount of races, um, they then go and have their offspring either at a stud or at home with their owners. Uh, this is a very basic question but at what age do the foals become ready to Be start back. training? So um, foals are sort of weaned anywhere from sort of six to nine months and then um, they are prepped as sort of yearlings, they're broken in, um, not broken in sorry, they're handled. In national flat racing it can be from yearlings, they're backed and then ready to run as two-year-olds um, as young as that. National hunt you tend to look more as three-year-olds so as a yearling they'll just be handled um, and then as two year olds again you might start you know fitting them up but you wouldn't back them as such and then as three year olds you'd have to break them in ride them away um, turn them away and then you sort of bring them back in um, once they've matured through the summer and just slowly bring them back into work and they'll develop at their own pace each horse is different it just depends on the horse yeah. really yeah. and do you ride them? I do yes <laughs> and would you be one that backs them or is that a specialism? Yeah. Oh, breaking them, them in break, yeah. so um, we tend to send them away for breaking so we have a very good jockey Noel Feely yeah. um, obviously he's now retired from racing but he would have been our stable jockey um, a couple of years ago so yeah. he rode Rock on Ruby and everything um, he's now doing breaking in as a retired jockey so a lot of our horses go there to be backed yeah. um, if they're not already bought from the sales broken in but if we do break a couple in here and um, we've got a conditional jockey here in the yard Morgan, and he would sort of do the grind for breaking uh -huh. thank you very much you. right we've replenished the run out battery Right. Take it away. Who would we like in the backdrop? Have we got a favourite? Oh, he just wants to be in the backdrop, doesn't he? Is, that good? Is it? Beat, beat the bat, beat a the gelding. Bat. From Ireland again. Yay, we love an Irish horse, don't we, Mum? Yeah, first of all, I said, had you grown up with horses? Yep, yeah, um, my dad trained race horses, so I've been around, around them all my life. Yeah. And, and what's your main name? Uh, I'd love to be champion jockey one day. Champion jockey? You look like you're young enough to, to go so, for a whole hog. Young enough and fit enough. <laughs> so that's my daughter's. But no, you need to be fit, don't you? You do. Well, that's as fit as the horse. I, I have asked the girl about me. My claim to be jockey weight is so hard. Um, I don't struggle, to, I don't struggle that too much. Jockey weight? Yeah. I don't, I'm not too bad, no. I, um, I'm quite lucky to be fair. Yeah. You get up and do you do any of the work or do you just ride? Just ride out. So riding is work? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And um, <laughs> when you come back and you fling the brains to some of the stables are? I know, we get ride um, right out and then wash them off and put them on the walk. And... Oh, oh, on the walk, is that that circular thing? Yeah, yeah. Can we go and look at that? Yeah, yeah. yeah we is can. it open or not? Uh, we, well, yeah, just, we can go all go in like Would you like to see the walker? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. There's, one, there's one round the corner here. Yes. Oh, Matt too. Thank you. Yeah, okay. too. A bigger one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, it is a bigger walker. They can walk lots of miles on that. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous setting. Yeah. Did some practice jumps in the arena, look. Whee! <laughs> that would be Sorry. my foot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> jockey comes back from a ride. Yeah. Does the, horse? the jockey have a name? Larkin. There you go. Repeat that, Mum. I can't, because I can't hear you. Can't. Larkin. L Larkin. Larkin. L-O-R. L-O-R-C-A-N. 
CAM. Yeah, yeah. There you are. Yeah. So when you get back from a ride, they all go on the walker. Yeah, um, uh, most of them go on the walker. Because they've been doing fast work. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then so they come straight back and cool off on the walker. Yeah. Go, you can't go in, Mum. Oh my goodness, you can. Watch <laughs> out. Speed. <laughs> yeah, switch it on, off she goes. Oh no, don't switch it on. <laughs> How many can fit in at once? Six. Six? Yeah. Oh, because it's very spacious for them, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we can go in, look. Ooh. And how long do they spend in there? Um, or does it depend on the horse? So we put them on the walker. Uh, we have to wash them off, put them on the walker. We go and tack our next lot up and they'll be on the walker for 15 minutes. Right, yeah. We tack our next lot up, just yeah. cooling off. Cooling off. Uh, rub the heads off and rub yeah. the rest of the sweat off that they have. And, that's them done Get for them the nice and clean and groomed. So, how long are they out on the gallops or training? Um, so we, so first lot we pull out about quarter to about half, yeah, about quarter to seven, and we wouldn't finish till about half, half seven. Right. Yeah. So, so about three quarters of an hour into yeah. an hour. Yeah. And is that it for the day? Yeah. 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 Once a day they're out yeah. exercising. Yeah. yeah exactly. And then. And so when they've well. had the walk, are they let out in the field to graze? Uh, yeah, um, out in the field. Some of them, or do they all have turnout? Or no, is it? it's just some of them. Some, some of them, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Depending on the horse's needs. Depending on the horses and depending on... They're all so they individual, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have you right. got a favourite horse? Uh, yeah, Sir Ivan. Sir Ivan? Have we passed that yeah. one? No, he's in that barn. Okay. Uh, barn three, yes. Yeah, Why well, is he your favourite? You've got a nice smirk on your face I when you just, said his name. He's just... I just get on with him. That's Aww, just, uh, that's pretty lovely. Cool, so. Like, no, he looks like he talks about him like I do Banksy. Yeah. <laughs> Their horses are Irish. What's Irish got to do with it? Some of them in here are Irish. Oh, Lovely some Irish horses. Most of them in here are Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Our boy's Just been stolen, hasn't he, Mum? Because they want him to go, some this kids watch. want to go on the exerciser, and I'm intrigued what the exerciser is. Sorry, I've stolen the camera off no, you. Have it back, all right. have it back, have I, knew, it I knew he was down here, but we caught him before. Oh. Hard work. Oh, that looks fun! It might be that Tina's on the exercise. I, she won't want me to go on it complete with camera, would you? Oh, I don't know, I can film you. Look at that lip. It's just like the bank. Very relaxed. And like you said, Mum, greys are quite rare, aren't they? Most of them have been bay so far. Most And the majority are Irish. Do we reckon this one's Irish? Yeah, it's Irish. Every accent's Irish. On for the road, Tom. No, the horses. What well, horses have an accent, do they? Yeah, haven't you heard them now? No. They're all too sleepy today. They're proper sleepy babies. Hello. 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 You had smiles a minute ago. I saw your teethies. You caught an ear. You caught an ear. Oh, nice. Oh, be careful. Go slowly. That nice. Is that nice? Oh, your head's quite heavy, actually. Yeah, quite heavy. Oh, you're sleeping in your arms. Your head's quite heavy, though. Yes, it is. You had here. Yeah. You had a hard day. You can have a lie down in that lovely comfy bed. Yes, you could. Oh. You want to show us your teepees? You want to show us your teepees? Oh. Shows how much they love attention. Yeah. Did you see it? It's kind of nice. Do we need to find 
Ivan, Sir Ivan, who is Lorca. Lorca, then. Sorry, you're no, on the I love bypass. all their names, though. They've all got such praise. lovely names. Oh, your muzzle is so soft. So soft. Oh, you're French. French la la. Ooh, la, la, la. la. <laughs> Is she Merci called Fifi? Hey? Eh? Is she called Fifi? <laughs> laughing Brave. No, it's a Oh, he. a gelding. You're a gelding. gelding. He's a boy. That's Laughing Brave. I'm always attracted to the boys, not Larry. the girls. Oh, Gina, you're talking to Larry. Right. Larry? Larry. We just seen Larry's French. <laughs> Larry the Larry. 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 Oh, Larry. Oh, ho, ho. Larry, Larry. Mon amour. <laughs> they say Larry. Oh, they're all too lovely. Come on, moving they're on. They're all too lovely. Hello, Sir Ivan. We've been told you oh, are a lot of people's favourite horse in the yard. Really? Yeah. Hey? You're a lot of people's favourite horses as yes, but I'm having my afternoon snooze, so please leave me to it. <laughs> Sir Ivan is a bay gelding by Midnight Legend, Dam Tisho and owned by the Air family. Oh, and I've cropped off the colours. Might give the vlog back to her mum, however, she's busy getting some content for Emily. Just spotted so, a very relaxed, yet a very tall horse called Captain Drake, again, Irish, by Getaway and Julika. And it just made me intrigued. I've got a question you need to find out, Mum. I want to know what the tallest horse on the yard is and what yes. the shortest horse on the yard is. Okay. There's a lot of horses here, so I reckon Captain Drake about might 50. be one of the tallest. Do you know what your tallest horse is? Yes, my lad down there, Secret Prophet. And He's 18 many? hands oh. and rising. And do you know, yeah. oh. and do you know your smallest? I just moved Our smallest way. horse is Pogo I Am, who would just be literally touching 15 hands. Yeah. Wow. Is there an average height that makes Yeah, most of them all about 16 to 16 3 for yeah. National Hunt. Yeah. Um, we've got a few 17 ones in. You this know. one's quite tall, isn't it? Yeah, he'd, yeah, he'd be about 16 3. Oh, okay. um, Skylark 19 down there is about banks. 17 1. Really? But yeah. Secret Prophet, my boy, yeah, he's 18 hands. That's your stitch. Welcome, Yeah, I ride him every day. Oh, lovely. And you, you love it, it don't you? Uh, coming up three years, work with Harry Fry. So. Amazing. Yeah. You How many horses a day do you ride then? Uh, you do four to five lots. Yeah. Uh, keeps you fit. It does. <laughs> I love how much they all love us. Yes, they're all they're very affectionate, very aren't they? Very affectionate, yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, stop, don't put me on camera, I'll stop now. <laughs> no, we, we, exactly. love, we love, we love the horses. Exactly. We love the horses. So, so I this one raced recently. Yeah. This, this is one. unraced. Unraced? Yeah, he's just a baby. Oh, he was in. Yeah. Space. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have to go meet him. He was oh, in free training with Noel. We'll go and see him, him then. He's um, like all like mouthy like a baby. Yeah, he is. So does that, he, how old is he? He's just turned four. Just. Oh. But yeah, he's a, he's a big baby. Big baby. We're not yes. in any rush with him. He's just going to go straight. I suppose when they're bigger, they'll take longer as well. Yeah. yeah. Really big pieces. You've been like eating that. and now you're covering me in your food. She just said to me. Who says that? What's that your name? Is that so Harriet first told me that Secret Prophet is the tallest horse on the yard and your favourite. Yes. However, we've also heard, sorry, how tall? 18 what? 18, 18, 18 hands. hands but growing. still growing because he's only just turned four. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people, actually three staff today prior to you, have told us that Sir Ivan is their favourite. And you've just said the same as well. Yeah. He, he's like second. He close. is. He's, yeah. he's waiting. Isn't he? He's yeah, waiting in the wings. Yeah. But he's Sir not Ivan run is... yet. So Sir tell Ivan. us what's special about Sir Ivan. Sir Ivan is shown so much promise obviously last year coming first at Newbury in the veterans okay. um, and then we took him to Aintree at the end of the season and he ran a great race and came third out of the field of 14. Mm. He's rising 12 and he's just showing so much at home. He struck up an amazing partnership with our conditional jockey Lorcan Murta. Ah, that's who we heard talking about yeah. him, who said he just, he'd literally been. He adores yeah. the horse, it was his birthday last Sunday and he got a painting from his girlfriend of Sir Ivan. Oh, I feel like we need Sir Ivan in yeah. this video, Yeah, so please. Sir Ivan should be, should be in, the, in the clip. He knew you were talking about him as well. He kept gazing over. No bother. Oh, hello, handsome. I did come and see you a minute ago, but you were fast asleep, weren't you? Well, it is. Because I've heard so much. 
Exactly, this is the time they would normally be snoozing and yeah. we're interfering. Yeah, it's interfering with his downtime. Oh, bless him. Mm. Oh, so much. You want oh. So at 12, that is classed as a veteran. Yes. How long do they go on a race until then? No, well, you, you know what I mean, Harry is 14 and he's come back into training with us, so... Wow. You know, and that just shows at that age that he adores his job and enjoys the sport. Yeah. So, touch wood... Yep. Under Harry and Kira, he will go as long as we feel he's still enjoying doing well it and yeah, and, doing well. And bringing form to the race course. So, yeah, um, he's showing great expectations at home, and we're very excited about him. So, oh, it's so it's lovely to see how like passionate everybody is about all the horses, yeah. but particularly you, Sir Ivan, who looks very sleepy and ready for your afternoon nap to continue he's and I'll leave of, you in peace king of the yard aren't you boy Aww, <laughs> so, so so lovely see how fantastic this mountain block is and I could do with one like that for Banksy it could do with being a tiny bit narrower for him though because look I yeah, he can still get away from me, I think. I love how it's all protective. Yeah. Together, and look there at you go, Robbie. That's two. what she wants no, next. That's for the ones that are over 18 hands. <laughs> I thought this was a hot stone massage. <laughs> <laughs> and when they say they wash them off before they go in the walker, we have another walker here. One here. One over there that we've already seen. Look at the washed out area. Yeah. Six showers. And then come back. And then they're scrapers. All set up, all perfectly organised, ready to be used. It's flown by, we've had so much fun, it's all over already. Let's go get something to drink, ladies. Time for some food, time for some food and drinkies. There is a hog roast here, but talking to two... Oh, yeah, oh, oh, I can smell it. Right, we'll debrief at the pub. We've had a lovely time, thank you Harry Fry for having us all here on your yard it's absolutely beautiful I'm very envious of the facilities um, there's me excited about my <laughs> grass paddock riding at home that arena is beautiful the barns are beautiful two walkers lovely wash down bays and the gallops oh I'm desperate to take banks to some gallops very very soon but we may have some eventing in the pipeline beforehand and we are very lucky that we get to gallop on the beach which I need to make sure I do more of anyway yes full debrief once we get a nice cold refreshment in our hand cheers, cheers. successful day ladies we very haven't managed day. to get our drink out in the sunshine but never mind the clouds have put pay to that haven't they they have yeah it's very nice but it was very nice whilst we were up there. it was very nice whilst we were up there lovely weather congratulations on your first full vlog mum you did a very good job i'm pleased to say you asked you asked some very good questions you Thank did you. comment below guys and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed mummy's vlog and want her to start her own channel i wasn't a bad horse either it wasn't a bad horse. That thing made you nice. She didn't even get on. She can mount you. Well, I'm going to end this vlog here because it's quite noisy in here. And also, we're about to eat. Yum, 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 yum. Yum. Thank you to Emma from Hi Ho Silver for spontaneously recommending. I say Hi Ho. It's also from Dimpsey. You know when I went and stayed in the Shepherd's Hut last year, guys? That is very, very close to here. And we actually got a takeaway pizza from here that night. We haven't actually ordered yet though, so I said we're close to eating. There's too much to choose from, we haven't decided what we wanted. Anyway, thank you Harry Fry for hosting such a fabulous afternoon at your yard, beautiful yard. Very envious of the facilities there. What do you do at the end of a vlog, Mum, do you know? What do you tell your followers to do? Well, at the beginning you feel I'm doing a bloody good talk, so at the end you say, I vlog, 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 vlog. back to fancy. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, I would leave, you know. Gold, gold, if you've enjoyed gold. it, big thumbs up. If you've enjoyed it, big thumbs up. If you haven't, yeah, go, go watch something else. <laughs> I like it. Not, Mark. Well said. <laughs> Over and out from us. Do, if you are watching this close to when it was launched, aired, published, go and check out the National Race Scene. Race, I could be quite National Racehorse Week. Dot UK. Yeah. And on there, there might be a space. They are holding wait lists. There might be a day that suits you. But also, if you're not in the UK, do register your interest. Or if you can't get on one. Or if you can't get on one, yes, there's not one in the vicinity of the area to you. Do register your interest because they are going to be hosting a virtual race course. Yeah, yeah you could be watching it from the living room in pajamas. 
I wonder what you're going to say then. <laughs> From the comfort of your own sofa. Or your bed, wherever you may wish to choose. It, too much. That sounds like my, all my working stations. <laughs> the link will be in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed and see you all very, very soon. Do ensure you also check out Emma's vlog because she's got some top secret special guests on hers. Yay! Yay! You see Bye everybody. Video. Well done, Mummy. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just keep on To express yourself in your own way And we could have some fun No problems coming in our way I would like you just the way you are And you would like me just the way I am And I would like you just the way you are The way you are oh. Keep on doing what you do Doing what you do just keep on doing what you do. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Do what you like. Do what you like to do. Do what you like to do. What you like to do. What you like to do. Thank you.